Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be very special and sentimental for me because today I'm going to be reviewing Delina from Parfums de Marly. And this perfume I've dreamt of having before I even started my YouTube channel. I remember being in college and discovering perfume YouTube and just being obsessed and so curious about this world of niche perfumes that were very expensive and at the time for me pretty unattainable, but I loved hearing these reviews about them. And I had a few favorite perfume YouTubers and all of them raved about Delina. For some reason, the bottle, the way they described the scent, the notes in here, it just, to me, it had my name all over it. And I knew one day I would get my hands on this perfume, but I didn't think it would be so soon. Now, this perfume is a niche luxury perfume and it is on the pricier side. I was saving up for this perfume and I wanted to buy this for myself on my birthday this year, just to kind of celebrate my YouTube channel and how far I've come so far. Because to be honest, perfume and YouTube has gotten me through this whole time of pandemic. Before this pandemic started, I was working my dream job. I was performing for Disney and, you know, that obviously ended because of COVID and the pandemic. And I felt like I had a lot of creative energy that I couldn't use anymore because I wasn't performing. And one day I decided why not just make a YouTube channel I've always wanted to. And I feel like I didn't really find my niche until I started making perfume videos. And then I was like, this just feels right and I've always been weirdly obsessed with perfumes. I love perfumes so much. They make me feel confident and powerful and feminine, and I just enjoy collecting them, and they make me happy. And my mom actually ended up purchasing this perfume for me, which I'm beyond grateful for. I really didn't expect that at all, and it's something she really did not have to do. And I just thought it was the sweetest thing in the world for her to buy this perfume for me, especially because this is the perfume that I've really always wanted and never purchased for myself. So yeah, I got this perfume a little sooner than I thought I would, and I'm just so happy and I'm so excited to review this perfume. That's why Delina gets its own video because it's just that special to me. I do want to start by just mentioning the packaging on this perfume. So this is the box that I received the perfume in. It feels very royal. It feels very medieval. When you first open it, it comes in this little stand. The bottle itself feels nice and heavy. It's made of glass. And here's what the perfume looks like up close. I love that detail in the front. It reminds me of Marie Antoinette. Very specific, but this bottle just feels very French, very feminine, very elegant. We have the iconic tassel. And then something I never really noticed is it has this little crystal on the top. And I'm just a sucker for this bottle. Okay, so now let's get into how this perfume smells. To me, this perfume smells like feminine energy, divine feminine energy. It's floral, it's sweet, it's soft, and yet it's strong and powerful. This smells like a woman who is very sure of herself, knows what she wants, she's in tune with her feminine energy. That's what this smells like. It is so beautiful. I wanna get into the notes of this perfume before I go more into detail of how this smells to me. So the top notes are lychee, rhubarb, bergamot, and nutmeg. The middle notes are Turkish Rose, Peony, Musk, Battaglia, and Vanilla. And the base notes are Cashmeran, Cedar, Haitian Vetiver, and Incense. So to me, this perfume has three main layers. The first layer is this sour, fruity punch from the lychee and the rhubarb. And I don't know if you guys have ever tried an actual lychee fruit. They are delicious. The lychee in here is so well done. It smells like the real fruit and it has the perfect amount of sourness and sweetness. And then you also get that kick of sourness and tartness that comes from the rhubarb. If you've ever had a strawberry rhubarb pie, you know that sort of tart rhubarb flavor that just really is super unique and special. You don't see a lot of perfumes that have rhubarb in it. So I think that's one of the reasons that this perfume stands out to me. 
Okay, so that's the first layer of the perfume. And then you get into the second layer, which is that beautiful trio of florals, which is that Turkish rose, the peony, and the petalia. Rose has always been my number one favorite scent. I always purchase a lot of rose-scented candles, rose-scented soaps, and I love that it's paired with the peony because peony has this watery freshness to it that I really appreciate. I've never smelled petalia on its own, so I don't really pick that out of here, but overall the florals in here are just gorgeous and very well blended. The third layer of this perfume is this gorgeous, warm, woody vanilla layer that you get from the cedar and the vetiver and the vanilla and the nutmeg. I really do get the nutmeg in here. It kind of just smells like a blend of like holiday baking spices that again just sets it apart and makes it smell unique and original. And overall, I just really think that this perfume deserves all the hype that it gets because to me, this is niche quality. Now, I've had this perfume for about two weeks now and I've been wearing it a lot because, as I mentioned, I really wanted to formulate a strong opinion on this perfume. So I've been wear testing this and it's been super enjoyable. Let me just tell you guys that when people say this perfume receives so many compliments, it's true. Not only will you receive countless compliments when you wear this, but the kind of compliments that you receive are very specific and people are very drawn to this scent, almost too much. There was this man at my work who came up to me and he was like, I just have to tell you, I love your scent. And the way he said it was extremely creepy, stalkery even, and he was like, I just want to follow your scent. And I was like, maybe I shouldn't wear this perfume to work anymore if it's gonna attract this type of energy. The compliments that I've received wearing this perfume are very different than the compliments I received from my other perfumes. When people compliment me, it's just much more of a, wow, you smell so good, what are you wearing? They really want to get the name down of that perfume. They just seem a lot more curious and drawn in to find out what I'm wearing versus just, oh, you smell really good or, you know, the typical perfume compliment. And that leads me into the performance. So the projection on this perfume is insane. People will smell you when you walk into a room. The sillage is amazing. You leave a beautiful trail. You get whiffs of yourself throughout the day. You know you smell good when you wear this. Now, along with the projection, the longevity of this perfume is absolutely a 10 out of 10. The performance is crazy. I feel like I can spray this right before going to work in the morning and this will last all day throughout the night. And I feel like I can still smell myself in the morning. Now, keep in mind that I do over spray. I spray my neck. I spray my collarbone, the back of my neck, my wrists, my clothes, but this stuff lasts. This is the real deal. I love a perfume that has good performance because when you spend money on a perfume like this and it smells as good as it does, you want to be able to smell yourself and you want those around you to smell you. So as far as the performance goes, this is a win. This is a 10 out of 10. Now, the last thing I want to go over in this video is, is it worth it? Is this worth the price? Does it live up to the hype? And my answer to all three of those questions is yes. If you're somebody who's very, very interested in perfumes and you want to invest in a quality niche perfume, Delina is the way to go. Now, I'm not saying this is a safe blind buy. Definitely go to Nordstrom or Saks Fifth Avenue and sniff this before you purchase it because it is an investment. But for somebody like me who's a huge perfume lover, this perfume is just a dream. So I'm so happy with this perfume. I'm so glad to have it in my collection. I really do want to thank you guys for supporting my channel and subscribing and caring about what I have to say and um, commenting and interacting. It really means the world to me. If you are new here and you haven't subscribed, I do make videos mainly about perfume, so I would love it if you would consider subscribing. And if you enjoyed this video, it would mean so much if you would give it a thumbs up so I know you guys liked it. And that's all I have for you today, so thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.